Today we traveled from the Thousand Trails in Yemassee, South Carolina up to the Thousand Trails in Advance, North Carolina. And it was a hell of a travel day. Jeez, man. I mean, I guess it could have been worse, but it wasn't fun at all. Let me get everything set up here. We just pulled in. I'll show you the site and I'll tell you about our awesome travel day. We don't plan long travel days. Mm -mm. It was going to be a long one to begin. It was going to be about four hours, which is long for us. A little over four hours. So I was like, ah, four ain't bad. We can do four. But then some crazy traffic, like there was not even reason for it. No. They said there was construction. There was not construction. No, There's a bunch no. of construction signs, which I assume got people to slow down, assuming yeah. that there was lane, lane closures. But there was no lane closures. And there was nothing going on. No. So it just backed up traffic for about... 50 what? minutes. Yeah, almost an hour mm -hmm. at that one. And then the yeah. next one, there was an RV that caught on fire. Yeah. Class A that caught on fire. Uh -huh. That cost us another, what, half, uh, half hour, 40 minutes. Yeah. And then right after that, we gassed up and then we had to go into Charlotte. Charlotte. Yeah. And traffic in Charlotte was not great. Heavy. Yeah. So we left at 9 o'clock this morning. Mm -hmm. We were supposed to be here at 1. We rolled in at 3.30. Yeah. And I just got done setting up and it's still after 4. Um, mm -hmm. because it took me forever to back into this space. Yeah. Because here's the thing. I hate long travel days. Mm -hmm. I'm already pissed because mm -hmm. we should have been here a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I'm already testy. Mm -hmm. And then they put me in a back end space on my blind side. The nerve of them. Which I hate. I don't just hate. I effing hate. Yeah backing in on my blind side. It instantly puts you in a bad mood. I will be honest with you. I would tell you that if someone told me that for the rest of your RV life, they're going to be back in your blind side, we'd be done today. I know. You would sell the RV tomorrow. I would. I would not do it. No, I, I hate it. Before we left, though, mm -hmm. South Carolina, okay. we had a great weekend. Yes. We went and hung out with friends. Yes. April, who we've known for 24 years. We were stationed with her yes. in Hawaii. Actually... Met them when Lauren was five days old yeah because <laughs> yeah because we lived in the same Halloween. complex and then our house burned down together yeah we got re relocated together. together we lived as neighbors again for the next for we almost the whole three years we yeah and then so we've kept in touch with them they live in savannah yeah they took us out to a drag show yeah which was crazy I always wanted to go to a drag show it was a lot of fun yeah. it was a lot more fun than i thought it was going to be and i was trying to get leslie to go up there and give them tips mm -hmm. No, she I wouldn't you do, to it. do it. So I went to go give tips. And then it was crazy. I was cause, filming and taking pictures. Yeah. And then, so I go to give a tip to one, and he like grazes my hand yeah. as I'm taking the dog. Like, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man. <laughs> but it was fun. It was entertainment. It was great. It was. And then on Sunday, we went to the drive in. Yeah. The first time that you've ever been to a drive in. Yeah. And got to see Ghostbusters, the new Ghostbusters. And when we go back in the fall, we're going to be at that. Spot yeah. again for a couple of days. We'll have to go see another movie. Yeah, if they're still open. I don't know what the season is. Yeah. But yeah, that'll be nice. Well, today we're heading out early. When I say early, it's 9 30. That's early. That's <laughs> early for us. And we're heading out to Mount Airy, North Carolina. Just say hey. $500. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You're just saying hi to the neighbors that we ran into last night. Sorry. And um, so you might be asking yourself, self, what's in Mount Airy, North Carolina? Some might know. Well, we know, but yeah. we're not going to tell you until we get there. Oh. <laughs> so you have to wait like two seconds. Yeah. It's going to take us an hour to drive there, but you got to wait like two seconds. Uh. Here we go. <laughs> I can't believe it's already been over two years since we yeah. had our RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. And our sleep has been great phenomenal it's been crazy life-changing sleep impacts your posture mm -hmm. your mood and your overall health yes and when it comes to that stuff you really don't want to rely on the plywood like mattresses <laughs> that come in rvs when you buy your rv brand new yeah so we have the aurora lux mm -hmm. from rv mattress with the cooling technology that keeps our bodies at a perfect 88 degree sleeping 
temperature. Yes, and we also have their cooling pillows, their bamboo cotton sheets, and the weighted blanket. We love it so much that we even got a mattress from my mom. Mm -hmm. And she's loving it too, and she doesn't live in an RV. Exactly. Which goes to show you, you don't have to live in an RV to buy an RV mattress from Brooklyn Bedding. They're for everybody, and they come in regular sizes or RV sizes. An RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding also offers you a 120 night sleep trial, 10 year warranty, and free shipping from their factory in Arizona. The best part of all of it is we can save you 25% all you have to do is click on the link in the description of this video, go over to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, and type in the promo code WAGS at checkout. We're in Mayberry. Yes, we finally made it here. It's not actually Mayberry, it's Mount Airy. Yeah. But they call it Mayberry because Andy Griffith is from here. Yes. Grew up here, did his first performing here. Mm -hmm. And so now we're at the Andy Griffith Museum, which yes. is the first stop. There's a couple mm -hmm. things we want to highlight when we're here in Mount Airy, but the first one is Mayberry. Yes. So it wasn't actually filmed here. I don't know where they actually filmed it at. It's probably It'll probably there. tell us when we go inside the museum here. But we're gonna go in the museum and hopefully see some cool stuff in yeah. there. And then um, we got a couple other stops yes. we gotta to hit today too. Oh, we got stickers. Would you like me to deputize? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> there we go. I hereby declare you. <laughs> the village <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Share for a day. All right. Oh, there it is. Yay. I'm deputized. <laughs> There's one of the shirts Andy Griffith wore in the Andy Griffith show. And it was actually made by uh, Nudies. Taylor out in Hollywood. And so Nudies was famous a lot in Nashville. So if you see the nudie suits, the nudie suits are the ones that like very extravagant, very sparkly. Uh, we saw a lot of this when we were in Nashville, but the Nash at the uh, Country Music Hall of Fame, a bunch of nudie suits on display there. So it's interesting that Nudies Taylor designed this shirt for the uh, Andy Griffith show also. That's funny. A bronzed goober's hat. It is forever immortalized now. <laughs> There's Goober's outfit. You now there's the statue. That's the famous image of Andy and Opie going fishing in the Andy Griffith show. Pretty cool to see that. A little placard down here too. It says, simpler time, a sweeter place, a lesson, a laugh, a father and a son. Well, that's a cool little museum, man. Yes. Yeah, it is cool. a very small museum, but yeah. very interesting and it covers his life really well. Yeah. I mean, it's not just the Andy Griffith show, it's Matlock and the movies he was in. Yeah. Which I did, didn't know that many movies. I didn't either. That many records. The suit from the uh, Wait on a Woman yeah. with Brad Paisley was yeah, in there. Yeah, I forgot he was in really that cool. video. Um, there, there was only a small display of the Matlock stuff, which is yeah. I'm fine with because I didn't really watch Matlock. Well, i got to confess, I've never watched any Andy Griffith episodes. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, it's been years. I mean, I probably was, I don't know, maybe 10 or 11 years old last time I watched the episode. My parents, my grandparents used to watch it all the time. So I remember, yeah. can you whistle the theme song? No, I can't. I can <laughs> hardly whistle, let alone a theme song. <laughs> but it was really cool. Um, really, I just watched it for Don Knotts. Yeah. Because he was the funny guy. You can relate to him. Uh, yeah, I can relate to him. So that was really <laughs> the most entertaining part for me. Yeah. But, um, it is a really interesting it is cool. museum. They it did a really good job. Yeah, I like it. Well, as I mentioned before, this is not where the Andy Griffith show was filmed, but they did take a portion of the town and make it look like part of the set. You can see here, Weaver's Department Store, the Mayberry Courthouse, where they have the signs on the, those aren't actual, the, actually the signs, the actual signs of Sheriff and Justice of the Peace are back in the museum that we just saw. and. You also see in the museum the place where Barney Fife sat in most episodes, uh, which is Don Knotts, and that's my favorite character because he was just hilarious. And here they have inlay of you know a lot of the characters' names, and uh, I think you can go inside there. Yeah. Thank you. Oh wow, this is really cool. This looks just like the show. They had the two cells, and over here would be where Barney would sit. And Andy would sit, and uh, yeah, this is, and it's, it's about the size that I envisioned it being. 
Oh, well, Leslie then got in. She's in jail. What kind of jail gives you a rocking chair? <laughs> Mayberry. And a TV. I'd go to jail. Shoot. Well, that's an old TV. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is the inside of the cell. This is this is really cool. They did a really good job of replicating it, even it down to the old chairs where the chair placements were. Um, it's just really cool. Old filing cabinets with the old the old fan and the uh, the old typewriter. And I guess they keep this open to the public during business hours, so you can come and have your picture taken behind the desk or where Barney sat, or in the jail. I hope they don't pull my rap sheet. I'm dropping you off. I got warrants, so don't give them my real name. Oh yeah, there's the squad cars. We just came out of the courthouse, and they do these tours. You can you can actually ride around town in these old squad cars, which is really really cool. There's the gas station, Goobers, where Goober worked, I guess, with the old pumps and stuff. They got the actual pumps over at the museum, and then they got the old truck here. And inside there is not actually a gas station; it's the gift shop, but. It's pretty cool. It looks authentic. They did a really good job of recreating some of this stuff. Well, there's the, we're just driving past the childhood home of Andy Griffith. That's a small little house. It is a little cute little house. Tiny little house. But now it's an Airbnb. You can, stay. you can rent it and you can stay here. Which is really cool. And I've heard, I, I looked it up online and I've heard that they kept a lot of it very original. So it looks a lot like it did when he actually grew up there. Well, we just got done having lunch at the Loaded Goat. Yeah. And there's a funny story, this, this is why we ate here. There's a couple other cool restaurants in Mayberry, yeah. well, Mount Airy. You got uh, Aunt B's. It's, yes. It was based on the character of Aunt B. And you got Barney's. Barney's Cafe. But we thought this one was funny because the Loaded Goat was an episode on the Andy Griffith Show where the goat, they thought this goat was full of dynamite <laughs> running around town. They were trying to prevent the goat from exploding. <laughs> In Mayberry. <laughs> Which may be an episode I should look up. If I'm gonna ever going to watch a episode, that yeah. might be the one I should Maybe watch. Maybe we'll go home and watch the Loaded Goat. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen it, but it's probably been so, so long ago. That I, don't, I don't remember any significant scenes or shows or anything. It's just been so long ago that I've seen it. Yeah. And we didn't watch any getting prepared to come here or anything. No. So maybe we will watch the Loaded Goat. That one, I'm intrigued. It was good food. We had, uh, good. We had some burgers. And the burgers were great. The fries were Season good. Fries, yeah. yeah, it was really it was good. Really good um, we were the first ones in there this morning. So, <laughs> well, it, I say this morning, it was, it was right at noon. Yeah. But um, had the place to ourselves. Yeah. Couldn't record in there because the music was pretty loud. Yeah. But now we're going to go on the recommendation of uh, Danny and Karen, who we just spent, spent some time in with in Charleston. Yeah. They told us that we have to go to this place to get pie. Yes. What's the name of the place? Miss Angels Miss Heavenly Angels Pies. Miss Angels Heavenly Pies. Now we just walked into Angels. Look at the size of these muffins here. Then you come over here, you got brownies. Oreo Dream, Butterfinger Brownie, m and Brownie, Southern Comfort Brownie, Reese's. Just all different kinds of brownies here. It's, oh my gosh. And then you get into the pies. Oh, there's the pies. Peach, the Cinnabon pie. Little Cinnabons on top of it. Crumble, blueberry, cut, and then there's the little, the little pies Leslie was talking about. The little individual pies. Over chocolate pie. White trash. <laughs> That's funny. Holy crap, these cookies are as big as my head, and they're filled with like whipped cream, and that one's got peanut butter in it. Oh my god. You gotta go up one side of the store and then down the other. Up that side was all of the brownies and pies, and then all oh, this is all the breads. You got a bunch of different kinds of breads, carrot, red velvet, Reese's, they're like little cakes, but they're like in the little banana nut bread pans. But oh my gosh. There's Floyd's barber shop. And then there's Snappy Lunch. Both from the Andy Griffith show. Look at all this goodness we got from Angels. Yeah. We got this uh chocolate chip brownie. Chocolate chip brownie. It's so like it's a brookie. Yeah, it's, it's got a chocolate chip cookie and brownie together. Yeah, it's a cookie on top of the brownie. And then we got the individual pies, which are amazing looking. I haven't tasted them yet. You got the apple crumb. Apple crumble. And I got 
cherry bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Smell good? Mm-hmm. Smells good. I picked up some ice cream. We're not vanilla ice cream people. Yeah. But when you have apple pie and cherry pie, chocolate really doesn't go with it. No. Vanilla is, is the go-to for Unfortunately. that. Unfortunately. So very rare that we have vanilla ice cream, yeah. but with this we're going to do vanilla. Yeah. But it was a fun day. It was a fun day. If you get a chance to go to Mount Airy, go for sure. Yeah. Go see all the stuff. Very cool. Uh, Andy Griffith was quite the entertainer. Yes, he was. He was involved in a lot of stuff. He did a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I didn't know he even made music. Yeah, I didn't even. And even uh, appeared at the Grand Ole Opry with Elvis one yeah. one time. He did a, tour, did a tour with Elvis somehow. It was crazy. crazy. Yeah, he did a bunch of stuff, yeah. but very interesting. We didn't get into a lot of detail. Didn't go on the official yeah. tours. No. Uh, didn't go on the little cop car tour or anything like that, but it's a really cool little town. Yeah. Cool to walk around. Um, I would say it. you probably don't need the whole day. No, it's a half day. For us, it was, it was a whole day because of an hour to get there and an hour to get back. Yeah. But if you're in that area, you really don't need all day to do all that. No, unless you want to hit every shop. But. Yeah. There were some cool shops too. Yeah. They love their sweets. There were lots of bakeries yeah. and sweets stores. And so now we gotta go watch The Loaded Goat. The Loaded Goat. I we're gonna watch this episode. that episode. That's gonna be Leslie's first ever episode of watching the Andy Griffith Show. 47's become my year of first. Yeah. My first drive in so far. Yeah. I'm gonna watch my first Andy Griffith show. Yeah. So So we're gonna tonight. We will watch the loaded goat and eat our pies. Yes. That's exactly <laughs> what we're going to do. Oh, it's going to be heaven. Yeah. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.